Hey everyone, welcome to a short tutorial series on using Unity animator controllers with the Neo FPS modular firearm system. So, animator components and the animator controller assets they use make up the main system in Unity for driving and directing your animations. The animator controller is a finite state machine that lets you define a visual node graph of animation states and then direct the flow of control from one state to another based on a series of parameters. And while the way this system ties into the new FPS firearms is relatively simple, with the firearm modules and components simply setting parameter values on your animator controls at different points, it also gives you a huge amount of flexibility to model complex animation behaviors. Now, this series is not going to be a step-by-step -step of setting up an animator controller for a Neo FPS gun. And the reasons for this are twofold. Firstly, the vast majority of you are going to be working with the animations that come with a weapon asset from the asset store or from somewhere like CG Trader. Neo FPS can't dictate what animations it needs or how they should be combined when the variety of approaches is as broad as the variety of assets available. And secondly, the Neo FPS firearm system is incredibly flexible. It allows you to combine different modules and even switch them out at runtime to model a huge variety of weapon styles. You need an animation system that mirrors that flexibility, and that is the whole point of Unity's animator controllers. That being said, Unity's animation system has a lot of depth and quirks that can be overwhelming when trying to diagnose and solve a problem. In searching for decent tutorials that I could link to on the new FPS Discord, I found that many areas beyond the basics just aren't that well covered, and it can be hard to find good information to get you going. So this series isn't a step-by-step, -step, but instead I'll cover the basics of using animated controllers with new FPS, and then we'll look at some of the more interesting features like animation events, animation layers, sub-state machines, and more, and how to leverage those to work with new FPS and to expand outwards from just switching between different animation states. I've also added some links to the description for other videos on Unity's animation system. These either cover things in a lot more detail than I do, they explain things really intuitively, or they just show more of what you can achieve with some effort and experimentation. If you happen to have any other tutorials that have helped you, then feel free to let me know, either in the comments or on the Discord, and I'll add those to the list as well. Now, one of the really big strengths of Neo FPS is that you're not just confined to using keyframed animations with Unity's system. Neo also features a range of procedural animation tools, and the real magic happens when you combine the two. That way, you can get the adaptive and reactive nature of procedural animations mixed with the quality and character of handcrafted animations. So, what you're seeing right now is a combination of the two. We have the procedural bobs and sways, mixed with the keyframed reload, and so on. And then here we can see a version of the assault rifle with all of the procedural animation removed. And in this case, you can see that the keyframed animations are actually incredibly simple. There's not much to it at all. So you don't need to worry too much if you don't have these amazing crafted animations covering every possible movement. There's a lot you can do procedurally to enhance and add that physicality on top. At the same time, some assets will come with a broader range and better quality animations than you see here. And in those cases, you should be free to use those animations to their fullest. But yeah, essentially, setting up your animator controllers is like one giant puzzle game. And we're all game devs, so I'll try and explain the rules, and then you can puzzle out what you're trying to achieve. So anyhow, in the next video, we'll take a look at the basics with some examples from the Neo FPS demo assets. If you have any questions or comments, then feel free to hop on the Discord and say hello. There's a link in the description for that too. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.